Hey guys, it's Miss Mint here and welcome to part 2 of a little festive build. Now, um, yesterday I uploaded the exterior, so if you want to go and check that out, it will be on the channel somewhere, you'll find it, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, we're today... What yeah today whatever um, but today we're doing the interior now this it's it's an okay interior there's rooms that I like really like and then there's rooms that I'm like meh it's all right <laughs> you know what I mean but yeah I, I I think it turned out not too shabby even if I say so myself I tried to use as much like garland and as many lights and Christmas trees and presents as I could just to make sure that it didn't like just become a normal house in like uh, you know I wanted to keep it very festive so in case you are wondering what the hell um, I'm doing right now this is just uh, a little festive build it's a home for Christmas of course you could renovate it before uh, for like after Christmas so you can just take the Christmas Easter stuff out if you just liked the house in general and I will put it on the gallery for anyone to download if they do uh, like the look of it the username will be in the description down below Miss Mint YT for YouTube so uh, you can see how much I'm struggling with this hallway sort of thing I really really don't like hallways just don't judge me okay the hallways are just like my worst enemies really because I don't know what do you put in a hallway that size I try to fill it so it doesn't look bare but then it just looks weird to be honest so I did try my best I think my favorite room has to be the living room and then the upstairs like master bedroom which has like an ensuite and a closet but there are there are some other nice bedrooms that just not as festive so I think I mentioned yesterday I think there's four bedrooms three bathrooms so it is fairly you know it's big enough for a family I would say it's uh, it's got enough space and I'm sorry if I it looks like really the camera's spinny aroundy and stuff it's just you know I had to get them angles right to, to put this garland and this uh, these fairy lights up so um this video as you probably already know is 90 minutes long so if I'd start like sounding really strange at times it's because 19 uh i'm already doing it already look 90 minutes is a longer time to talk uh to talk for you know what i mean <laughs> it's not just like uh, a conversation which you could perhaps talk for 90 minutes it is so hard you've got no one like you're not talking to anybody you're kind of talking to yourself but you've also got to narrate what's going on and things <laughs> it's quite hard to be honest um so here i am so yeah, that's just like a warning for like what's going to come in the next 19 minutes. So anyway, here I am messing around with the floor plan, messing around with like the uh, the uh, wall pattern wallpaper that <laughs> got there in the end. Um, I did try to use the vintage glamour glamour wallpaper. I thought it looked quite nice, but I didn't want it looking too like monochrome. I wanted to. T oh, oh, oh my gosh, I can't speak. <laughs> I wanted it to look very like festive and warm and cozy and things like that. So yeah, I tried. I used. I think I pretty much used all of the festive stuff in there, which is good because you know it's a festive house. And I also like using the pine because I feel like that's very like lob, uh, lob cabin. No, log, 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 log cabin vibe. You know. And I just associate that with Christmas to be honest. Although not everyone has like a snowy white Christmas. I mean, I live in the UK and I don't think I've ever had a white Christmas. I mean, there was times when I was like younger that I remember it like snowing and things but it doesn't actually snow that often anymore and even when it does snow it's like the tiniest bit and it's always like really like gritty and slushy because people put grit on the road and I'm like no please don't do that I mean I want the snow okay <laughs> as much as it might be a nuisance to you I want it to stay um but yeah people go and grit the roads and it's kind of annoying and then you just get this kind of slush and it's not very nice so yeah I don't I I'm I can't really you know associate very white Christmases but I have seen snow before because I know a lot of people haven't if you live in a very hot place of course you won't have seen snow unless you've absolutely like unless you've like moved or well, not moved but gone on holiday somewhere cold um so here I am I'm just gonna figure out about the snow now and focus on the actual build um doing the little living room uh, so if it either like stops at points as well it was because my dogs I had to keep going and checking on them because they were downstairs doing their own I was just up here doing my own thing and I wanted to make sure that we're not getting up to no good so if I if it ever just freezes for a second it's not the game as me going to check on my uh, on my doggies okay uh, <laughs> so I, I really this has to be one of my favorite rooms as well I really do like it if, as you can probably tell I'm running out of things to say five minutes in and I'm I'm not doing very well to be honest 
so yeah um I, I um yeah I don't know what to say anymore so here I am just putting in more lights because you can never have enough fairy lights I mean come on fairy lights are like the best today is actually the 21st uh, so Christmas is not uh, too far away it's actually four days away it's Wednesday today yeah Wednesday <laughs> when you don't even know what it is um, and Christmas is on Sunday so you there isn't much time to play in this house to be honest I mean I should have perhaps started doing it a bit earlier but nonetheless I mean better late than never I guess <laughs> if we're gonna I d uh, there's no point really is there it's just that I'm not gonna get a chance to play in it but it's fine because it looks festive and it's still not being Christmas yet which is good so <laughs> yeah I know some people have been doing Christmas videos for ages as well so some people got into the festiveness really early like the first of December and yeah I have been feeling quite festive this year I have to admit this year's when I've not been very you know festive feeling but I'm feeling quite festive this year if I, if I say so myself um, but some YouTubers have been doing like Christmas videos for quite a while now and then it's just me uploading like one a few days before Christmas but no I did do a Christmas crate sim so this is my actual second Christmas video I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any more because I mean we're not gonna go overboard on them I mean it's 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 nice at the time but then once Christmas is passed and of course it's so close to Christmas now there's not many days to watch them because once Christmas is passed you're not gonna watch a Christmas video are you like if it's January you're not gonna start watching festive videos really so I mean there's only like four days till Christmas so there's not really too much point uploading a video now because people aren't gonna watch them after the four days I guess uh, maybe I'm not sure <laughs> if, if you liked what fish what what I was just said fish then when I was meant to say festive if you like to watch uh, festive videos in January that's completely fine but I don't know many people that do so yeah <laughs> I certainly don't so yeah I don't know actually why I'm doing this I just decided you know what I haven't done a festive build better better get on that bandwagon and start doing it um uh, but I yeah I thought better, I better upload it now because I've uploaded the exterior and I can't really go back so here I am I've done the first bedroom I really do like that bedroom actually it's it's not very Christmassy compared to the ones it's just got a bit of like garland and a bit of wreath whatever um but apart from that it's just a basic bedroom really so that one would be quite easy to unfestify whatever you want to I don't know what it means but <laughs> just go with it okay um when same the bath the bathrooms aren't festive at all they're just bathrooms to be honest I don't really know many people that festify festify if i say festify it means like i'm trying to like fest make the room festive if you're wondering what i'm saying that is um so yeah if if you do make your bathroom look festive then you know comment down below and tell me because that would be pretty cool if anyone's even made it this far as well if you've made it to eight minutes in the video go and tell me as well because i would love to know if people actually watch these they probably don't but it'd be nice to know if they do um so yeah um as well we hit 50 subscribers which i know is not very many subscribers but i'm happy with it okay I'm happy with my 50. It's, it's <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. And, and some people are thinking 50. That's hardly any. But I'm I'm quite like the 50. I think it's a nice number. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I'd say that for some reason. And now I've come back to decorating the what's it called? The living room, the lounge, whatever you call it. Um, but yeah that's that's about it really now we're on to the first no the second bedroom what am i talking about the second bedroom and that's just again a normal bedroom so oh yeah i remember now right i was gonna like say something earlier and i forgot and now what I've not remembered it now. I was going to tell you about what happened yesterday, right? It was, like, devastating, guys. It was devastating. Again, you can tell when I've gone to go and check on my dog's look. It's just completely stopped. It's, yeah. Um, but, yeah, yesterday, right? This is story time with Katie here. Uh, story time, um, right, everyone prepared. Um, I was uh, editing, well, I wasn't editing, I was exporting the Black Widow Challenge Part 2. And, basically... I was also, while it was exporting, I was playing my Sims game, my personal Sims game, and I, you know, moved a few households, quite pleased with myself, I've uh, moved my Sim up in the world, you know what I mean? And then, of course, I have like a desk, well, of course I have a desk, because, well, it's where my computer go, but uh, I have a desk which has, kind, it's kind of got like this little shelf above the monitor, uh, it's, a, it's attached to the desk, but you know what I mean, it's like a little shelf above the monitor, so it's kind of, you know, yeah. That's it. Well, anyway, there's loads of stuff on the shelf, and this like 
box i'm not even joking it's not a heavy box don't don't like boy it wasn't like a massive wooden box filled with stuff it was just like a little plastic box thing uh, i'm not quite sure i don't know whether it was packaged i think it was like packaging from something else i'm not quite sure don't don't even question it um and it fell right it fell with a picture as well with like a little picture it's only like it's not a heavy picture frame either, so no, nothing was hurt, nothing was damaged, nothing was broken, don't worry about it. Um, but this stuff, it fell onto my desk and it hit my keyboard while I was playing. And I was I was fine at first, I was like, oh my gosh, why is it falling? But it's fine, just move it out of the way, right? But no, that's not it. It had to come, it had to land and it shut down my computer. I am not even joking. It hit the sleep or shut down button and then my screenshot is shutting down and I was like, oh my gosh, panic, panic. That's like the worst thing, by the way. If you probably think I'm overreacting, totally, I am not. To have all of your work go missing and lost and I've had to like re-export it in my game while well, I'm just gonna have to do all of that again and I was like no please stop I tried to cancel the shutdown didn't work so I just thought you might want to know that story time never leave stuff on the shelf above your keyboard because you know terrible things may happen but it's fine now it wasn't this video it was uh, my let's play video so it's uh, nothing is affected in this I'm actually uploading that video right now and um, so it will be up before this but yeah that's a life lesson guys if you are uh, if you're wondering well hell I'm telling you this I'm not quite sure um, <laughs> but yeah you know uh, I just thought I would as well my the shelf above that is like an utter mess it is terrible everything's fallen over on top of those are those are just things on top of each other it's totally it's dreadful to be honest it's it's not very nice so no wonder things fell but it was really annoying me yeah I, I was so mad to be honest I was like I was fuming, but anyway, here we are doing the kitchen, let's forget about that now, because it's making me angry thinking about it, you know, all of that work I lost, <laughs> but anyway, here we are doing the kitchen, and it's, I, I was fine with the kitchen, I did it, uh, I did like, um, just a normal table at first, and then I realised that there was more festive things than I once thought there was so i went back and changed it later on in the video i'm not quite sure whether it looked better or whether it looked worse but i changed it to a really festive table not sure whether i should have but i was like you know i'm gonna use all of this festive stuff you're not gonna stop me from doing that so i decided that, that was like one of the main goals use all the festive stuff and i turned to go for like the more traditional festive colors the very red and green because i know a lot of people nowadays have like white trees or more of a blue theme or you know you saw the different colors of christmas tree there um but me personally in my house i have just like a, a normal chris well not a normal christmas tree just like it's a fake one of course because dogs and real christmas trees that would not go well <laughs> okay um but yeah it's just like a green christmas tree just a gem one like a just like a traditional one more um whereas a lot of people have more different colored trees which i think is quite interesting to be honest um which is but i well what well, i'm just kind of rambling random words now and it's not my concerns whatsoever but i uh, i stuck to more traditional colors i stuck to the very red i stuck to greens i stuck to more warm colors rather than cool and i tried to make it more of a traditional house as well so it was it's not a modern house it's not like completely old-fashioned though it's not like it's meant for old sims or anything it's it is suitable for family it's just like not your typical modern house to be honest but i like it i do like it um and i wouldn't say it's my particular style but then again i really don't know what my style is i just tend to go with whatever to be honest um but i i don't know i don't know what the style is called it's kind of like it's not vintage and it's not old-fashioned some people might say it's old fashioned but I, I don't know, I don't know what it's called, if you if you have like one word to describe it, let me know because I, I honestly don't know. I also tried to like do this special like lamp manoeuvre thing inside the table, I don't know whether it looks good or bad, probably bad but you know, I just stuck with it and if I always say you know, that in that bothers you, I'm sorry about that too as well, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, but here I am just, again the hallways, the hallways are just terrible, It I just can't do them. And, but I love that like flea market chair for some reason i just think it looks quite i don't know i think it looks like perhaps an old grandpa chair it's very nice so this room over here you can see to my right um is well it's not my right is it because like you can't see me but to the camera view's right right yeah it doesn't make sense i know um 
that room's very big so that is like perhaps a master room where i don't know who would say now whoever you want stay now i guess and but that's the master room and it just has it has an ensuite and it is one of my favorite rooms and it has also um, a little closet well it's just has like a dresser and it kind of looks like a walk-in wardrobe kind of i said kind of okay <laughs> whether it does or not i'm not quite sure um but yeah it kind of looks like a walk-in wardrobe because i didn't i was going to use one of them at first to get together closets but the windows were in the way and i didn't want to block them so i decided to just do a walk-in wardrobe like i said about 50 times um but yeah that is uh that's that little section up there and um, because i i hate it when there's too much space around you not in real life but in the sims <laughs> you know and i was trying to get that rustic feel in here as well this bedroom is more green and red because a lot of the house is more readyfied readyfied is that even a word no um but yeah this one's a bit more like log cabin -y. i've probably said log cabin about 50 times but i don't care uh, but i decided to put some festive candles a little wreath i was going to go for a different color wreath but I decided to stick traditional again. Um, some festive candles was just in there, a little lamp, and just some mirrors. Basically, it's nothing too extravagant. And here we go, more of the red again. Um, I just put like a little dresser in there, some shoe racks, some little hanging clothy things, and I just thought, you know, let's just make it look slightly like a walk-in wardrobe. Slightly. I don't know if that wardrobe, but not the wardrobe, yeah, closet wardrobe, whatever you want to call it, will work with the shoes on top of it. But you know, I tried. I also wanted to put a Christmas tree in here, so. I'm pretty sure I put one just in the middle of the room. I was like, yeah, just fit it in there. It'll be fine. I mean, it might obstruct the view. Not the view. Obstruct the path of walkway. That doesn't make sense either. But it might obstruct your sims getting into, like, the bed and things. But other than that, it it should be fine, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if it does that, though. That's just a disclaimer there. If it doesn't work, it's not my fault, okay? I haven't tested it. So here I am fiddling around with the table. Not quite sure what to do. Um, in the end, I just went for this green one. Uh, did I change the colour of the chairs? I'm not entirely sure. I thought the red looked a bit too full, like too full on. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing to be honest. I thought, why not put a bit of green in there? We've got red walls. Like, let's just go for green. Let's go a bit of contrast here, you know, mix it up a little. And um, we've, I've, my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. I made it to 17 minutes, and this is my first try at recording, by the way. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not doing too bad so far. Usually, I have to start recordings like voiceover recordings. I have to like restart them. But today, I'm doing fine. Okay, I'm doing good. I'm on 17 and a half minutes. Don't mess up now okay and <laughs> um, right last bedroom this house didn't actually take me too long to build as well because usually houses take me hours and hours but this took me about perhaps two hours maybe just over um which some people might be a lot but for some people that's like nothing so i was quite i was quite pleased with this it, it didn't seem to drag some of the builds i just get bored of by the end and i mean you know to be honest uh what can I say? To be honest, I don't know. Uh, some, yeah, a lot of builds I do get bored of, but other than that, I it's just fine. And I've just remembered, guys, this is what's throwing me off, you know. If you're wondering where my trail of thoughts going, it's because I forgot to put the screenshots in as well. So I'm going to have to end the voiceover early and then add just screenshots in now. Um, so you won't notice any difference. So I guess I'll just end it here. So thank you guys all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like or comment where we look cool too. I'm not making sense. <laughs> oh, um, please don't, oh, comment would be really cool too. I love to hear what to say. If you have any suggestions, anything like that, and please don't forget to subscribe. It mean the world to me, and you'll get to know when my videos are uploaded. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye, guys.